guys welcome to my channel thanks for clicking on my link um so my channel what am i gonna talk about um so what i usually do or what i usually upload is like stuff where i'm unboxing things mostly horror related stuff um sometimes i try to do challenges or you know i just talk about random stuff whatever comes to mind or whatever like i see online and whatnot so um today's unboxing will be a bit of a departure from what i've been opening like the boxes that i've been opening just a bit of a background uh i don't know why i keep showing you guys my access so um yeah tonight's unboxing is from mattel barbie so one of the few things that um i do collect um are barbie dolls and most of my dolls are from friends and family that um are kind of asked for like you know what you know when friends ask you what you want for your birthday and i tell i'm not shy i tell people what i want if i wanted something particular that year um so yeah so the dolls that i've accumulated mostly are like princesses of the world barbies and stuff like i don't have all of them but I also started buying stuff from eBay like a few years ago. I stopped doing that. And my latest, I want to say my latest Barbie doll is the Bay one from 2016 or, yeah, 2016. And I really like it. I really love Barbie dolls. I think also because, you know, as a kid, this way, that's what I grew up with anyway. And like my mom wasn't home. She was in another country. Um, and she'd send me Barbie dolls. So I'm like... So I'm following Instagram accounts where they post Barbie dolls and stuff and I would see the dolls that I had when I was a kid and I was like, oh my god, like I want those back because when we left Philippines, we, I didn't take them with me. I guess we like just gave them away and stuff. So I wanted them back and I went on eBay like I'm gonna buy them. And then I figured, I was like, why? I have too much stuff already. What am I doing? It's not like I'm rich, you know, like I'm spending money, whatever. Um, so I figured, hey, why not buy new Barbie dolls and sell them later? So that's what I'm trying to do now. Because, like, I think in a way, it's it kind of satisfies my need to, to, um, to spend money on dolls. But at least this way, if I am successful, then like i get to admire them while they're in the box but without having that sentimental connection you know because i know I'm, i'll be selling them later on so um yeah so anyways enough chit chatting i'm gonna open one of the i think i ordered four so let's see what came so this one was delivered at work which is fine because it's just one small box i hate I hate it when they deliver, and I'm pretty sure I asked them to deliver the bigger ones at home. But anyways, in a way it's good because people are like offering me seats on the subway. So that's really nice of them. Yay! More of these. Oh, look at it! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, you guys. This is what it came in. Okay, came in. Oh, oh, and this one. Okay, I have to be careful with this because I'm going to be selling it, right? So I have to be careful with it. I don't even want to, like, oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll carefully unwrap it. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if I'm selling them. Uh, I can always rewrap it. Open, 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 open. So this one is the Fashion Model Collection. So pretty. Elegant Rose Cocktail Dress. Um, okay. Forget the Barbie fashion model collection celebrates the timeless elegance of classic couture from the past and adds a contemporary twist. Okay. 
So I am gonna open the box. <laughs> because I have a feeling that, oh my god. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I'm so scared to open this. <laughs> I'm so scared to open this because it's so pretty. I'm just gonna peek. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, maybe this is okay. Oh crap, you guys. Can't. I'm gonna open it. Is it gonna lower the value? I guess. But it's just, I'm not taking it out of the box. Or am I? I'm gonna be like really, really careful with this. Oh. Man, they really wrapped this thing. Okay. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> I like a perv. Legs. Um, it comes with a hat. I think. I think that's a hat. And look at those shoes. Oh my god. So pretty. I'm touching it. I'm touching it before I sell it. Can you guys? I hope it's not too like exposed. Yeah. Okay. Good. Nice. And this is the certificate of authenticity, which I won't take out. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Mm. But I'm not keeping it for myself. I'm selling it for profit. <laughs> Maybe. Unless nobody buys it, then I'm keeping it. Duh. Okay, so there's that. I hope that doesn't count as unboxing. Oh wait, no, it does. I hope it doesn't count as like, it's still like new in box, right? Um, okay, I'll put this back later. That's gonna take a while. That is there. Oh, and this one came with a bonus of, uh, I think, extra shoes and stuff. So I'm not sure if I wanna sell these. But, like, what am I gonna do with them? Really? Because all my Barbie dolls are inside the boxes still. But this is the extra stuff that it came with. Look, look at those shoes! You know what's funny? Because I don't really... Like, I wouldn't wear these in real life, right? But, like... But they're so pretty! And they come in, like, shoe... Like, there's a shoe box that comes with it. <sighs> I wish I could keep them. I guess I could. But... I don't want to. I wish, but I don't want to. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, so there's that. And the packing slip, I guess. Yeah. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, I have another few boxes to open. And I'll be in the next clip. Okay, see ya. So the next box is going to be bigger because there should be, presumably there should be three Barbies in here. Okay. okay, go ahead. This is the one that was delivered at work, so I had to carry it, I had to like lug it around. So awkward. And like my boss was like, oh, are those more records? I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm still going through them, I'm still listening to them. I'm still, oh, I'm still listening. Okay. This is another fashion model Barbie. Oh my god, you guys. This one's so pretty. They're all pretty. So, I'm a kid. What can I say? I'm a kid who's trying to also make money on the side. This is the black and white tweed suit. Do you guys have it? Like, do you guys like it? Yeah, this is the gold label collection. And I'm gonna open it. Because I want to see the inside. Okay, so it's very similar to the other box where it comes with a ribbon. So I'm gonna be super careful again. 
I didn't fart. That sound came from the box. Okay. Be very careful. Oh, so this one, okay. Because I've always wondered, like, how do we know if a Barbie doll is unique or one of a kind or, like, um, it's not, like, mass produced? If this fits, sorry. Um, it says on the box right there, no more than 10,000 worldwide. <sighs> okay, nice. So I had to lock at it. I have to be careful to open it. I really wish I could keep them, but I'm not rich. I must not be too connected with these guys. <gasps> Look, okay, I always start from the toes or for the feet, and that's her hat. And skirt. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, and you guys, there's a purse there or a satchel. No, it's not a satchel. It's just a bag that looks like kind of like Michael Kors. Oh, <laughs> I want to keep them, but I won't. Oh, what was that? Oh, the stand. <laughs> okay, I thought it broke something. All right. So, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, next. This one's another gold label. I'm gonna pause this just in case I'm, I run out of space. Be right back. I guess I'm back. This is the other Barbie. This one I think I'm not too like in love with, but because I think it was on sale, I wanted to buy it, and it was one of them, like, collector ones so this one is again is also another fashion model collection and this one is also one of those things that's one of the dolls that are all well, there are only 10,000 worldwide ah. and boxing very carefully hmm. not sure I'm loving this part I guess all fashion model collection comes with the ribbon. Gonna be careful. Starting again from the toes. Pink. And it comes with a clutch there. And look at the chiffon thing, or chiffon, sorry, chiffon, whatever. Okay. Comes with the sequins, and uh, I find that like really creepy that they hold her head in with a net. But look at her hair! Look! Oh, so pretty. This is also really pretty. Oh, and her legs? They look like, how come their knees look like they probably bent, right? I don't know. Anyways, this one's also really pretty. These dolls seem heavier than like the other Barbie dolls, which I wouldn't be surprised with. But so pretty. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead with the other box, which should be the last one. Yeah, be right back. Hey guys. So this one comes with a different box. Barbie doll. Okay. I was a bit worried that I had to ruin the box for the to open this. Because I don't want to really. Like when I sell it, I want to just give the purchaser everything that I received. So I'm gonna be super careful with this. Or I'm gonna try. This is a bit of a workout. I'm just wondering why this one came in this box. <laughs> it's also another gold label collection. So I think I said I was just gonna unwrap it. Because I can like 
graphics back up. Oh, oh, this one's more rare. Or, more rare? This one's rarer. Because there are only 4,400 dollars. 4,400 dolls worldwide. Says so right there. I believe them. This is another silk stone body. Oh my god. Okay. Better be careful. Oh my god. I just saw the tip of her shoes. And I'm already in love. Love, love, love. Okay. Oh, this was made in 2015. Certifies that your enchanting blush beauty Barbie doll was created by designers and artists at Mattel. But it doesn't say what number, what lot number. Maybe on the box it says. Ready? Ready for it? Look at her shoes! They glitter. Sorry, I won't touch it anymore. But they're glittery. Look. And it doesn't look like she has other, what do you call that, accessories. Aside from the stand. Oh, I love it. Because they look like they're from the 60s or 50s. And because this is a coat, right? So she has the dress inside. But I'm not going to touch it. I'm touching it, but I'm not going to, like, remove it or anything. Oh, so pretty. Look. I love the collections. Because they're so, like, they're just so nice. What's another um, description for them? I love how intricate the designs are. And, like, they just put so much thought in them. I think that's why I appreciate them so much. Um, yeah, so this kind of brings me back to my childhood. And I'm like, you know, when I think about my childhood, I'm like happy. Because it's fun. No bells, no responsibilities and stuff. But yeah, so I think I'm going to try to sell them. And hopefully I do get rid of them with profit. Um, but if not, then I get to keep them. But I think I'll try to get rid of them, these four first before I buy more to sell. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But thanks, you guys, for watching. Let me know if you guys like your Barbies. Um, let me know if you guys have a collection and stuff. Maybe next time um, I'll take videos of my current collection that I thought I was going to sell but decided not to because I got really sad thinking about selling them and getting rid of them because because they were given to me by family and friends and yeah so I was going to get rid of the ones that I already bought but I'm like eh you know why not buy new ones and sell those instead so yeah there alright thanks you guys uh, talk to you soon later